What up, Yodel? So I'm back out here at the uh, chicken brooder. We have about 80 chicks out here. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you our setup again uh, because we've made a couple of changes. So you can see we now have two waterers in here. Uh, there are 80 chicks in here and they have plenty of room right now. Uh, so for probably another week and a half to two weeks, they'll have plenty of room in here. But after that, we're gonna have to move them and open up some extra space. Uh, but what we have here is we have two waterers and then down here we have two separate feeders. Uh, this new feeder from Tractor Supply is actually really cool. It's got its own feet. Uh, I would highly recommend that because that is super handy. Um, but yeah, we still are using these radiant plates. These are the Pacific Pride or these Producers Pride uh, radiant heat plates. They work fantastic. We've had no issues so far. There's two different heat settings. We've got them on the lighter settings because uh, if you can see, our chicken run is kind of like a greenhouse. So they don't need a whole lot of heat in here. But what we've done is uh, we've opened up the bottom here and we've made it so that we can access down here uh, and put chicks in the bottom. So I've got it clipped here. But now we have the ability to add more chicks underneath in the bottom of the brooder if need be. I'm hoping that in the next couple of weeks they'll be just about fully feathered out. You can see a lot of them are getting their feathers. There's some, these bigger ones, I don't know if you can see the size. Some of them are bigger, have a lot more feathers. Those ones are a week older than the other ones that are smaller. But they are they are doing fantastic out here. So we hatched all these ourselves in our um, incubators. I've got another 50 in the incubator now that are uh, preparing to hatch. It should be about two more weeks on those. And then we'll add those um, out here. And hopefully by that time, these will be ready to go out on pasture. They should be fully feathered and our weather should be pretty good. These are all meat chickens. Uh, depending on how many hatch from this next batch, uh, we had to remove a rooster because one of the roosters was being pretty rough on the hens. So we removed him. And um, so we don't know what our fertilization rate will be if the one rooster is enough. Uh, so we'll just have to see how that goes. But depending on what our incubation rate is, if we get all of them or even 80% of them to hatch out, we really only need 20 more chickens. So then we'll have 25 chickens that will probably raise up to pullets and then sell from there. But uh, yeah, so there's our system. Uh, again, I just wanted to give you an update because we did add some stuff. Basically now this brooder is self-sufficient for about four days. It's about, I check on it every day. I really don't need to. But I do, uh, just to, just for due diligence. But now for about four days, I don't have to do anything with this brooder uh, because I've got the two waterers and the two feeders. And with all of that, with all 80 chicks, it does just fine. So anyway, uh, if nobody's told you today, I love you. God bless you. Shalom. Have a great day.